there's a clause in the bill which says uh, only implemented after delimitation. Now, we are going to see the census take place in 26, then we are going to see the delimitation. And mind you, something to chew on, it took two years for Jammu and Kashmir to complete delimitation. How much will it take, uh, you know, for delimitation to be completed across India? Not just that, the South states will uh, uh, have already raised apprehensions on delimitation. So are we actually going to see light of day where this bill is concerned? Um, at least till 2029, it doesn't look like. Many would suggest not even till 2030. But having said that, there's also talk of a quota within a quota, the demand for OBC, the demand for Muslims to be included in the quota as well. But Kakuli Dastidar, I'm going to bring you in. A fiery speech you made on the floor of the parliament. And I have to say somewhere down the line, the TMC has put its money where the mouth is because you've given maximum uh, you know, uh, reservation to women in itself when it comes down to it. What are your apprehensions? Why do you call it a jumla? See, right at the onset, there's a lot of controversy regarding the name of the bill. It's actually the 128th amendment of the Indian Constitution Bill. But some of the uh, Treasury benches, the speakers, while they were speaking, they said this is Nari Shakti Vandan Adhiniyam. So we are confused regarding the name because what goes on on the paper table is the name of the bill. So how can they, uh, you know, be contradicting themselves? It's a constitutional amendment bill, but here they say it's Nari Shakti Vandan Adhiniyam. So you have to go first uh, raise a question at what they are trying to say. Secondly, I agree completely with you when you say that by tying up delimitation with the bill, this appears that the, it is intentional and it is just a gimmick prior to the forthcoming elections in certain states, followed by the Lok Sabha elections, the general elections. The women of the country are being taken for a ride. This will really not come through in the forthcoming one or two elections because first delimitation has to take place and then only the bill will come into effect after it becomes an act today if it does and then what i would like to say is that uh, you know those states which have been performing very well as far as reproductive health care is concerned whereas women empowerment is concerned they would really have no representation. So the person who does well, a student who does the homework well, gets zero for the exam. That is what is going to happen. Those states which have been having children beyond the stipulated limit, so to say, they have eight, ten children, they will have more population and representing the increased population, there will be <coughs> more seats. Mm -hmm. And like you said, the states in the south, they have been working hard on their numbers, on their health care, on their women's population empowerment. Control. And by, population po by, population. by population, the women are more empowered, they are more literate. And that is why they don't allow eight children to come through. But states like in, towards the north, more towards the north, states like Uttar Pradesh, Bihar, mm -hmm. the average might be four to eight children per woman. So the population is much more. Delimitation will give them much more seats, many more seats. So this is unfair. That is what the common woman of India is understanding, that they have not been uh, given justice right. through this bill.